together. And okay. sip right in the middle. <laughs> Logical, I like it. <laughs> it's like a little love scene. <laughs> became a bit of like a reluctant member of like team sky people or yeah, whatever. Squad. Yeah, squad. <laughs> Hashtag squad goals. Last season. Um, is that going to continue in the next season? Or going um, to be way off the that's an interesting question. I don't I don't know what they have in store for him. I know that if what if he believes in what they're doing, then Murphy will stay with them. But even if for like a second if it goes offline with what Murphy wants or what Murphy believes in, then Murphy has no problem leaving him. He's done it before with Murphy. So I mean I don't I I can never expect Murphy to spend an entire season with them because it just it has never happened. He just doesn't do it. I go off on my own so often. I, I've just been kind of, it's like a Pavlovian instinct. And I just think he's probably going to leave at some point. So I think, I hope, I, I like him alone too. Like it's just, it's fun. Though. What's the one thing that you want to see happen to Murphy in, in this new season? I don't know why. I really want him to kill someone. Really? Uh, That's not dark at all. Yeah. Not at all. <laughs> it's just a fun thing to do on the screen. Um, <laughs> But you know, what do I want Murphy to do? I, again, like I trust what they're doing, what the writers are doing so much that I, I just like I wait like everyone else. As soon as I get the script, I'm so excited. Like I just tear through it. To be like, what am I doing next? <laughs> what has, kind of fun thing do I do? Follow that up. Has there ever been like a storyline that you pitched to Jason or the writers that, that maybe they considered or would will consider in a later time? Sure, I did at one point. I. Wanted something. It was, I knew it wasn't gonna happen. It was something like I knew it wasn't gonna happen, but I told him. Jason's like, oh, we'll, we'll, we'll keep it in mind. <laughs> yeah, we'll back, we'll back pocket that one. Yeah, 14. Yeah, we'll get to season eight. We'll see. Has Jason talked to you about the themes of this season, or what, what, how it differs to last season? That's the thing. I mean, I never. I never really think about this, the themes as far as the show is concerned when you're shooting it, because I guess I just focus on doing Murphy justice and that's about it. But you're right, like it's always so shocking to me whenever a new season comes out. It's such a different show than the season before. Like it's like an an like an anthology series, but with the same characters. Well, what, what did you go through your mind when you read the premiere script? Of season four? Yeah. Loved it. I read it two nights ago. I loved it. Can you spoil anything? Not you guys one are on a gag order that you're not thing. To not a thing. Other than it's good, <laughs> and the ratings should hopefully be high. I can help. How can many? Pray. How many shocking moments are in that? <laughs> Off the top of my head, at least three. At least three. Yeah. <laughs> three at the bare minimum. What was your favorite scene that you've ever done for the show? Like, did you have a favorite line or a scene you were like, this is so awesome? Season three, episode one, the first scene where I lose my mind in the bunker over 86 days. I, man, we had so much fun. Dean White, all the credit in the world to him, who directed the episode. He gave me so much freedom and we just spent like 14 hours. And it would be literally just me in a room losing my mind doing whatever the heck I wanted to do. It was so much fun. It was really good. Well, it was a pretty good episode. It was a good one, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was a good, solid yeah. episode. Will we see more of Murphy and Emily together? I, be, I mean, I'm, I'm sure we must because, I mean, we, we seemed pretty happy there at the end of uh, season three. And <laughs> Murphy had a little bit of, a, like, almost a smile. <laughs> Yeah, yes. covered in covered in the blood of his other girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> um, so last season was the first season of our series regular. Yeah. Can you talk about, on all about what that was like going from being a regular. I've said it before and I'll say it again. It meant it meant the world to me. Um, it had been my dream to be a series regular on a TV show since I was a child. Um, I've been doing this since I was I was ten. But I never in a million years. I, I wasn't very successful for a long time. I never in a million years. I think any, if, uh, any of this would happen. It's really. Thank you. Thank you.